Hello everyone. Greetings in the name of our Father Jesus Christ. In this video, we are going to study Exodus chapter 3 verses 1 to 14. That is Moses and the burning bush. Let us see how Moses went near the bush. God says according to Hebrews chapter 3 verse 5, Moses was faithful as a servant in all God's house. A new king who was called Pharaoh came into power in Egypt. He didn't like it that there were so many Israelites and he thought they would one day take over the land. So he decided to make all the Israelites into slaves. Pharaoh still wasn't happy. The Israelites were still growing in number, so he decided to make a law. If any boys were born to the Israelites, he would have them killed. An Israelite couple who were expecting to have a baby, when they had a baby boy, they decided to hide him because they wouldn't let anyone kill this beautiful precious baby of theirs. They hid Moses for 3 months, but as he got older, he didn't sleep as much and he cried loud. than before so his parents did the only thing they could do they made a strong basket and put blanket around the baby and placed the basket in some tall grass in the nile river pharaoh's daughter had come for a swim while she was swimming she noticed a basket floating a little ways away in the tall grass when she opened it was moses crying miriam had seen what had happened miriam was moses sister and she hurried over and asked would you like me to go find an israelite woman to feed and to feed the baby for you Later he became the son of Pharaoh's daughter and that's when she named him Moses which means she got him out of the water One day after Moses had grown up he went out to where his own people were and watched them at their hard labor He saw an Egyptian beating a Hebrew one of his own people looking this way and that and seeing no one he killed the Egyptian and hid him in the sand When Pharaoh heard of this he tried to kill Moses but Moses fled from Pharaoh and went to live in Midian where he sat down by a well Now a priest of Midian had seven daughters and they came to draw water and fill the troughs to water their father's flock Some shepherds came along and drove them away but Moses got up and came to their rescue and watered their flocks Moses agreed to stay with the man who gave his daughter Zipporah to Moses in marriage. Zipporah gave birth to a son and Moses named him Jershom, saying, "I have become a foreigner in a foreign land." During that long period the king of Egypt died. The Israelites groaned in their slavery and cried out, and their cry for help because of their slavery went up to God. According to Exodus chapter 3 verses 1 to 3 says Now Moses was tending the flock of Jethro his father-in-law the priest of Midian and he led the flock to the far side of the wilderness and came to Horeb the mountain of God there the angel of the Lord appeared to him in flames of fire from within a bush Moses saw that though the bush was on fire it did not burn up so Moses thought I will go over and see this strange sight while why the bush does not burn up when the lord saw that he had gone over to look god called to him from within the bush moses moses and moses said here i am do not come any closer god said take off your sandals for the place where you are standing is holy ground then he said i am the god of your father the god of abraham the god of isaac and the god of jacob at this moses hid his face because he was afraid to look at god The Lord said I have indeed seen the misery of my people in Egypt I have heard them crying out because of their slave drivers and I am concerned about their suffering so I have come down to rescue them from the hand of the Egyptians and to bring them up out of that land into a good and spacious land a land flowing with water and honey the home of the Canaanites Hittites Amorites Persites Hivites and Jebusites and now the cry of the Israelites has reached me and i have seen the way the egyptians are oppressing them so now go i am sending you to pharaoh to bring my people the israelites of out of egypt 
But Moses said to God, Who am I that I should go to Pharaoh and bring the Israelites of the Egypt? And God said, I will be with you, and this will be the sign to you that it is I who have sent you. When you have brought the people out of Egypt, you will worship God on this mountain. So now go, I am sending you to Pharaoh to bring my people, the Israelites of Egypt. Moses said to God, Suppose I go to the Israelites and say to them, The God of your fathers has sent me to you, and they ask me, What is his name? Then what shall I tell them? Then God said to Moses, I am who I am. And he said, Say this to the people of Israelites, I am has sent me to you. So my dear brothers and sisters, how are we spiritually? Can God say, you are faithful as a servant in all God's house? Yes or no? Are we doing God's work as Moses did? Most of us are not listening to God's voice. We are busy in listening to worldly matters. Let us come out of the worldly things and concentrate on listening to God's voice. Jesus coming is near. As God's soldiers, we should fight against Satan by changing many souls and take them to heaven. Let us do it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. For more videos, please subscribe to my channel.